some bowling right now so we can get to know my guests, which are Jeff, Dave, Blaney, and Aaron of Blue Bullet Skater. Who does most of the writing for the band? I did, um, out of the 10 songs, Timmy wrote three, and that, like, I wrote the rest of them, like, idea-wise, like, shell-wise. Actually, I've heard a lot of comparisons for um, Aaron's vocals, as in um, The Pretenders and Veruca Salt and um, Juliana Hatfield. Do you guys agree with that? Do you agree with that? Um, I agree with whatever's going to make people buy the record. So, if you like Juliana Hatfield, <laughs> yes, we absolutely sound like that. And if you like Veruca Salt, oh, sure, we sound like that. <laughs> Your voice may have some similarities, but I, I really think behind it, you guys, it's much harder and much, it's much cooler quite frankly, than Juliana Hatfield, but, you know. Oh, That's just my opinion. Oh, Sorry, Juliana. There's two records available. And yeah, yeah. There's two two EPs that came out both both in 2000. Yep. Yes. So I, I wasn't actually in the band at the time. I don't know why I'm answering the question, but <laughs> he wasn't on any of the records. Didn't I didn't play on anything. I, I don't know. I don't even own them. Now are we working on another one for 2000? Well, we, we will be. We will be. We will be. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, just uh, what was it? Friday, right? Friday. Friday, we won the uh, WBNY Battle of the Bands. Excellent. Yeah, and that so, was a uh, Red Cheese. Yeah. Yeah, so, and for that, you get a day of recording? Oh, yeah. Free recording. Excellent. So you're going to try to cram a whole album into one day's worth of free recording? Probably a double, double album. Probably twice. <laughs> <laughs> you look at me like you're waiting for an answer. You look at me like that, I don't know what to say. Got, all have been in other projects previous to Blue Bullet Skater. I'm not going to mention them because we decided not to. But um, how do you think um, the the wealth of musical influences that you guys have? What do you what do you think it brings to Blue Bullet Skater that actually makes this band this is the one? Whatever we did in our past, that brings everything to the forefront to Blue Bullet Skater. I mean, that's that's who we are. And, that's why the sound is the way it is, you know, whether it be good for some people or bad for others, you know, who cares, it's just the way we sound. So whatever bands Aaron was in or I was in or Dave or Jeff were in, you know, they did whatever, we bring it all now, and that's why it's working, you know. Plus it gives you the opportunity to make your mistakes yeah. when you're young. And now we, we've moved fast because we've already made the mistakes, we know what to do, what not to do. It makes everything happen, quicker and faster. Now, guys, I understand you are uh, heading out on tour this summer. We have a college agent we work with, and we have some club agents that we work with. So what we're going to be doing is uh, over the summer, we're going to hit clubs probably two to three weeks, maybe a month out on, on the road for clubs. And then starting in the fall, we're going to do some college dates as well. Before we go, um, Erin wanted to talk a little bit about her favorite Simpsons episode. Right. So <laughs> which, which, one, <laughs> which one would that be? <laughs> Pressure. I don't really truly have a favorite one. <laughs> They're all gems in their own right. No stupid sexy glanders. Stupid sexy glanders. <laughs> Feels like I'm wearing <laughs> blue bullet skater. <laughs> Is there anything it can't do? <laughs> Alright then, star wipe and out. <laughs>